hello students this is the continuation of the previous video lecture in the previous video i discussed the property of dft which is modulation property and in this property we understand what is the dft of the two signals when they are multiplied so the dft of the multiplication of two signals in time is equivalent to circular convolution of the same two sequences but in frequency domain and that circular convolved sequence in dft has to be scaled by 1 divided by n right and based on this property we will see one example so here we have a problem statement find y of k if y of n is given by x1 of n into x2 of n and x1 of n and x2 of n are given x1 of n is the sequence of length a where all the samples in the sequence x1 of n are ones and x2 of n is given by cos 0.25 times pi into n where n varies from 0 to 7 if you see both the sequence x1 of n and x2 of n the length of both the sequences are same right and also you can observe here y1 of n y of n is the sequence which is a multiplication of x1 of n and x2 of n when y of n is multiplication of x1 of n and x2 of n you have to find out y of k right so you have to use the property and then you have to solve this example so how to start with this problem right we know that when two signals are multiplied in time the multiplied signal is given by y of n which is x1 of n into x2 of n right and they asked what is y of k right and this y of k is nothing but dft of y of n right and what is this y of n y of n is nothing but multiplication of these two signals x1 of n and x2 of n so x1 of n x2 of n right and using this according to the property the dft of multiplication of these two signals is equal to 1 divided by n times the circular convolution of these two sequences in frequency domain that is in dft form so what is the dft of this x1 of n x1 of k which is going to circular convolved with the dft of this one that is x2 of k right so your y of k is equal to 1 times 1 divided by n multiplied by the circular convolution between x1 of k and x2 of k right so first step is find the dft of the sequence x1 of n which is x1 of k then find x2 of k which is the dft of x2 of n then perform the circular convolution between x1 of k and x2 of k in a similar manner which you have followed for computing the circular convolution of two time domain sequences then scale each sample value of circular convolved sequence by 1 divided by n and before that please note capital n is equal to 8 that is the number of samples in both the sequences right so here i will write y of k is equal to 
वन डिवाइडेड बाय एट इनटू एक्स वन ऑफ के कन्वर्ट विथ एक्स टू ऑफ के राइट सो नो फर्स्ट विल फाइंड एक्स वन ऑफ के राइट सो व्हाट इज एक्स वन ऑफ के व्हिच इज द डीएफपी ऑफ व्हिच इज द डीएफपी ऑफ एक्स वन ऑफ एन डीएफपी ऑफ x1 of n so what is the equation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 right x of n followed by w k right so next summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 that is 7 and what is x of n See here, from n is equal to 0, so this is n is equal to 0 to n is equal to 7, 0 to 7, the value of x1 of n is what? 1 only. So, I will write from 0 to 7, the value of x of n is what? x1 of n is 1 multiplied by kn. Right? So, which is equal to? summation n is equal to 0 to 7 7 into w8 kn right and here if i substitute k is equal to 0 here if i substitute k is equal to 0 because in this dft x1 of k also k varies from 0 to 7 only right so if i substitute k is equal to 0 here for k is equal to 0, this becomes what? Summation n is equal to 0 to 7, n is equal to 0 to 7, right? 1, right? So, what is the answer for this one? So, whenever there is a summation 0 to n minus 1 of 1, it always gives what? n. So, what is the value of n here? So, n is equal to 8, n minus 1 is 7, but n value is equal to how much? 8. Therefore, it is equal to 8 for k is equal to 0. And when k is not equal to 0, that is, except 0, 1, 2, up to 7, you will get 0. So, therefore, x1 of k is equal to 8 for k is equal to 0 and 0 for k is not equal to 0. Not equal to 0 means for k is equal to 1, 0. k is equal to 2, 0. Up to k is equal to 7, it is 0. So, how I can write x1 of k? x1 of k is equal to for k is equal to 0, we have 8 followed by 0. So this is my x1 of k. Similarly, you have to find x2 of k. So how to find x2 of k? Again, use the given sequence x2 of n and find out x2 of k. Right? So, from the given problem statement, I will write down x2 of n, which is equal to cos 0.2 pi pi n, right. So, for the ease of simplification, I will write cos 0.2 pi as 1 divided by 4, so which is pi divided by 4 times n. So, let us convert using Euler's identity rule. We will write cos pi by 4 n in terms of complex exponential signals. So, how to write that? Cos pi by 4 n can be written as e raised to j pi by 4 n plus e raised to minus j pi by 4 n divided by 2. So, that 1 by 2 I will take here. So, this is my x2 of n. x2 
text of zero. You can still simplify this one because we know that W n is equal to e raised to e raised to minus j two pi divided by n e raised to minus j two pi divided by n. Right? Here it is. I will write k n. And here is this k n. Right? So if I take this one e raised to j e raised to j pi by four n so can i write this exponential term in terms of w using this one what you need to do is just you have to e raised to j right multiply and divided by what 2 so this is 2 pi divided by 8 so even if you simplify 2 ones are 2 fours i will get the same n right Compare this one and this one, right? E raised to minus j. I will take this term. E raised to minus j pi by four n. E raised to minus j. So what is the difference? Everything is same. Only here we don't have k. So that is nothing but what one. So k is equal to what one. So I can write. This e raised to minus j pi by 4 n as w8 k is equal to what one here so w8 n w8 n so similarly you can write e raised to j pi by 4 n can be written as w8 raised to minus n because here k you will get minus one. therefore it is 1 divided by 2 summation so this can be written as w8 raised to minus n minus m plus this can be written as w8 plus n so this is my x to of n in terms of w next you find its dft use the dft equation which is summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 right so it is 7 or simply you write n minus 1 that is also fine next what is x to of n x to of n is 1 by 2 times w8 raised to minus n plus w8 raised to plus n multiplied by w8 k n right so this is nothing but your x to of n multiplied by w it is to k n right so now let us simplify i will take 1 by 2 outside 1 by 2 outside then summation 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 n is equal to 0 to 7 i will multiply this one with this one so that is W eight raised to minus n into W eight raised to k n plus summation n is equal to zero to seven W eight n into W eight k n. Next one by two in the first summation term n is equal to zero to seven and a zero to seven, right? So here. What common you can take from the power term? So n is there, right? N is common, so I can write like this: W8 k minus one k minus one into n plus summation n is equal to zero to seven. Here it is: W8 k plus one into n. right then next 1 by 2 1 by 2 here summation n is equal to 0 to 7 w8 raised to k minus k not into n whenever 
we have this kind of expression this can be written as n times right if i take this one n minus 1 in general n times delta of k minus k naught delta of k minus k naught right so if i write summation n is equal to 0 to 7 then w a raised to k minus 1 into n can be written as what well. n is nothing but 8 delta of k minus k naught is nothing but 1 so it is 8 into delta of k minus 1 similarly summation n is equal to 0 to 7 w 8 k plus 1 times n so this plus 1 can be written as minus of minus 1 and this minus 1 is nothing but k naught value this can be written as a times delta of k plus 1 delta of k plus 1 right so that i will write here so this is nothing but 8 times delta of delta of k minus 1 plus again 8 times so this is 8 times delta of k plus 1 right now we will take 8 outside so what you will get is or else you can write like this also 4 times delta of k minus 1 plus 4 times delta of k plus 1 that is equal to x2 of k right so we will write this in the next slide so that I can move further so x2 of k is equal to 4 times delta of k minus 1 plus 4 times delta of k plus 1 right see here if I make k is equal to 1, if I make k is equal to 1, the delta function will have 1 only at k or anything is 0. For any 0 value, delta of that value is what? 0. Delta of 0 is 1. Right? So, delta function is what? If I take k only for delta of k is equal to 1, only for k is equal to 0 it is 0 for k is not equal to 0. So, if I substitute k is equal to how to make delta of 0 here? Delta of 0 I can make only for k is equal to 1. So, 1 minus 1 is what 0? Delta of 0 will get 1. Therefore, x2 of k is equal to x2 of k is equal to right 4 4 right 4 k is equal to 1 and this becomes 0 because if I make k is equal to 1 delta of 1 plus 1 is 2 delta of 2 is 0 and coming to this term if I substitute k is equal to minus 1 then again this delta of 0 you will get delta of 0 is 1 so again you will get from this one you will get 4 for k is equal to minus 1 but if you see it is either n or k starts from 0 up to what n minus 1. So, we do not have negative terms here. So, how to convert this negative integer into positive? Just add it by what plus n. n value is 8. So, minus 1 plus 8 is equal to how much? 7. So, or k is equal to 7. And outside otherwise, otherwise this x to k is 0. So now let us write x to of k is equal to x to of k is equal to for 0 it is 0 k is equal to 1 it is 4 next 0 0 0 0 next it is 4 next it is 0 sorry 4 4 plus you will get here 4. So, the continuum 
the continuation of this problem will be in the next